Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on the Vizio 5.1 soundbar with subwoofer and satellite speaker. This one is a 42 inch soundbar that's designed to fit any medium to large size HDTV, premium speakers up to 102 decibels with less than 1% distortion. Bluetooth streaming, stream music from your PC, smartphone or tablet, wireless subwoofer, thunderous bass from anywhere in the room with the satellite speakers placed between the couch for true surround sound. Installation is pretty easy on this particular model. Um, basically you have to be within 60 feet to have a reception for the subwoofer. Um, the sound bar could be wall mounted and it does come with a LCD display remote. Other features are DTS digital su surround, DTS true volume, DTS circle surround, and Dolby digital. And here's the dimensions I'm gonna show. I'm not gonna read the dimensions out. That's the sound bar dimension, subwoofer dimensions, satellite dimensions, specifications, the subwoofer, For the left and right channels each, center channel, and here's what's in the box. Of course, the, the sound bar, subwoofer, rear satellite speakers, remote control with LCD display, 3.5 millimeter to RCA audio cable, optical digital audio cable, digital coaxial cable, wall mount brackets, and a quick start guide. Connections, we have the one by digital optical in, one by digital coaxial in, one by 3.5 millimeter stereo auto in, and one by stereo RCA. So a lot of components are included into this box. For this particular one, it retails street value around $300 or a little bit less than that, depending if you bought on sale or not. Currently, I have it installed. I'm testing it out right here. I'm going to do a quick demo and I'm going to show you what I think is my pros and what my thinking is the cons of this unit. So, and I would recommend or not recommend it. Okay, so the sound bar we have right here uh, fits really great if you have a pretty big size TV around 40 and with a large counter space. So basically on this one in particular, um, I just have it on the second level of my TV stand. As you can see, I'm going to do a little quick zoom over here. It has the Vizio symbol on the lower right. And if you just swing over here, you're going to see the little LED light. Okay? So in the back, behind this unit, You will see also the controls. I don't know if you can see that that well. I'm not going to pull the cable too much because the optical cable is not really that long. But that's actually in the back of the unit. Okay. It's also a power cord that plugs right in the back of the right side. So I'm just going to show you the starter guy and see the connections. As you can see, there's a six uh, connections here. You can see that in the book over here. And there's a USB dongle. You, you can use the digital optical cable, or you could use the digital coaxial cable, 3.5 millimeter RCA cable, which yeah, is not that good, and 3.5 millimeter RCA cable. There's no HDMI cable on this one, so the optical is your best bet. And also the power, this is the back view. On the left side, the back view is really your right view if you look at the front side. And that one you plug into the outlet. Basically, you can also set up the Bluetooth uh, with subwoofer. However, you gotta pair the, the sound bar with the subwoofer. You have to press the, the pairing feature in back of the soundbar. Then from there, you press the, 
there's a little thing you press in back of the subwoofer to pair them together and the lights will blink. That's the button next to the, the LED over here. So what we have here, these are the satellite speakers. Okay, you get two of these. This is the blue one. And I'm gonna zoom over here. And this is the gray one. So they also come with mounting brackets in the accessory kit. So I got a lot of extra accessories left over. So that's something if you want to do the mounting brackets for the speakers you can and also the extra screws that you could wall mount the soundbar. Okay, so the subwoofer is the size of like a PC box. If you can imagine how um, like an AT PC box looks like, then this is the subwoofer. So I'm just going to give you a tour of the subwoofer. Nothing special, no special LED in the front. There is a LED in the back, mainly used for pairing, that's what I guess. And it does plug in its own outlet. So in this case, the one on the bottom is, actually the one at the top is the one that I have plugged in. The one at the bottom actually goes to somewhere else that I'm using the power for. Okay. So on this unit in particular, that to make the video too long, uh, it works really well, so I'm going to do a quick demo compared to a TV. So you can turn on the TV sound and let's see how it sounds on a regular TV without the, the sound bar. Okay. Yes. All right. Now we lower the volume of the TV and we're going to attempt the same thing on the sound bar. All right. Let's turn on the sound bar and let's make it high so we can hear. A little bit higher. As you can see, there are some, the tones are really better compared to the TV speakers. I have a Samsung TV. Okay, I can lower it back down. All right, turn off the, the sound on the sound bar. Okay, as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of bass, uh, not a whole lot, um, but not super amount of bass. It won't be booming booming sound. There's not a lot of adjustment that you could really could do on this. You know, there's definitely input for optical, you know, the optical cable. You got USB functionality, you got Bluetooth, you can play Bluetooth music through your computer. You got AUX, two of them. And you got digital input. You got Bluetooth pairing, of course. Program. Icon light. TV remote, night mode, you change your stereo to a little bit, don't sound that long, loud, uh, loud. true volume, turn this one and leave it on to make it sound good, surround sound feature on, subwoofer, you only could go one level high or one level low, there's not much feature, you know, so positive, negative, and it's the same thing, I mean, you can't really adjust much with the, the balance, the center, the treble, the bass, you know, just positive or negative. There's not like a volume that you, you could control for the bass, you know. You can't go like one to six, for example. It's stuck between negative and positive. So it's not a lot of selection. There is a mute button in this thing and the volume. I'm very surprised there's not much choice in this thing. But then again, you look at it, the price is really, really good in this thing. You can't get a better price on the 5.1. So the pros are basically uh, the 5.1 surround sound that you will gain with these uh, speaker system compared to the TV system. And you get quite a bit of bass. And the price is another advantage of this whole product. Uh, the, the negatives are really, the, the cons are that um, you're not getting really good sound quality. You know what I found out after testing this over a week is basically a lot of the bass and even the sound is very muffed. You know, it's like you know you don't hear that well, and you know it's not as clear, not theater like. You know, and also another thing is the remote. There's not a lot of adjustment that you could really could do on this. So my recommendation is if you want something just better than the TV speakers and you can't hear well on the TV speakers. Yeah, you probably want to
get this particular soundbar system. If you really want a better quality audio system, I recommend you look elsewhere. And maybe you want to look at the, the Sony ones out there. Uh, or you want to look at the high end, the high fidelity from Sonus. So I tested all those and review all those, and those are way better than this one, particularly if you want better uh, sound entertainment quality in your home. So thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you liked the video, and uh, see you next time. Bye.